Hello everyone. In this video, we will see home automation system using MQTT protocol on ESP8266. In this project, we will be controlling four switches and remotely we will turn on and turn off the switches. This video is sponsored by leading PCB manufacturer company JLC PCB. JLC PCB manufactures two layer, four layer, and six layer PCB at affordable cost. You can get the two layer PCB only for two dollar. Go to the jlcpcb.com and upload the Gerber file of your design. Select the color for your board. Place the order in just few minutes and get it in just one week of time. As you can see, the quality of PCB is very good. For this board, we need four relays, one ESP12E module. Two switches, few registers, LED for each relay indication, and wire, and few connectors. This is assembled and working board. This board has one correction. While board layout, I forgot to connect reset pin to the reset switch. That's why I have connected one wire from reset pin to the reset switch. Let's do the wiring connection. We will connect the load of 230 volt AC bulb to each relay.
Okay, our wiring connection is ready now. As I mentioned, we will be using MQTT protocol to control the relay. So for that, we will be using Adafruit MQTT server. So let's create an account on Adafruit.io website. I already have an account, so I will be just logging in. As you can see, this is a dashboard of MQTT server. For test purpose, we will create new dashboard for new project. Give some name. Now we will add few controls like toggle switch on the dashboard. Enter any name for reference. Now enter the feed name. I will give the name as a light file. This feed name will be used as a topic name in the MQTT protocol. Now I can toggle the switch. Now let's refer the uh, project I had created for this project. Likewise, I have created four toggle switches for this project. If you see the property of toggle switch, it will be the same as toggle switch we created. Now we will need username and key value to access this dashboard from Arduino code. So we will get it from your AIO key window. Let's see the code now. In the Arduino, we will install the Adafruit MQTT library. Go to the sketch, go to the include library and click on manage libraries. Now search for Adafruit MQTT library. And now install the library. I have already installed this library. Now let's see what is there in the code. So here in the code, I have defined few pins for each relay. These are the Wi-Fi credentials we have to enter. Following are the Adafruit connection details. We will get it from your AIO key option. Let's keep the AIO server and server port as it is. And change the username same as on Adafruit site. And enter the AIO key same as Adafruit key value. Let's define the subscription topic here. For example, for light one, enter the feed name same as Adafruit dashboard, which we entered for light one. And same for light two, light three, and light four. As you can see, in the setup function, we are setting the pin mode to the output. Here we are setting the serial connection. And here we are setting the Wi-Fi connection. And in this function, we are subscribing the MQTT topics. And in the loop function, we are checking for the update on subscribe topics. This part of the code is checking for the update for light one topic. Likewise, we are checking for light two light 3 and light 4 topics. Let's see the demo now. 